This is the major thing I want to hit on. By the time we realize, oh, I could do this in order to enhance and improve a man's life, or I could be that kind of woman, and this is how I can be complimentary. By that time, it's like, girl, he already is checking for a better version of you that already understands how to be an asset earlier to where he can get more out of her than he can get out of you. It's like, oh, I could be an asset now to a man, but you come with so much, so many liabilities. We will, we will literally drain the life out of any man that we touch. And I've been trying so hard to prevent this because I'm quite frankly, I'm fucking tired. I'm tired of the same damn song. The same violins playing. I'm tired. This is why I go so hard. Uh, but you, she, you young. You don't know what you're talking about. And you old. And you ain't doing shit right. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you obviously don't know what you're doing. I've been hearing that time after time after time. I'm telling y'all since at least 2015. 2015, I believe that's when I first went viral over on Facebook. I was on World Star and everything. And I'm telling you, it's been, it's been the same time. Oh, you're so young. This is, she, 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 you ain't even lived life yet. You don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, sis, how funny is it? Hold on. How funny is it that I was so young and I didn't know what I was talking about, but now here you are saying the same shit that I've been saying. I was 24 telling us, ladies, do this, do that. Stop doing this because men don't want that either. The, the same things that we complain about, y'all think men want that? I couldn't even make a video saying that, you know, a, a, a woman should be an asset to a man. I couldn't even make that video. I couldn't even make a video saying, hey, ladies, a man wants, needs, and desires a woman that is able to love him, support him. I couldn't even make that damn video. That video went viral. Over a million views. Couldn't even say that shit. I had Derrick Jackson making video. I mean, everybody couldn't even say that basic shit without so many females jumping hot at me down my throat, calling me all kind of pick me, mammy bitches. I, I just, you, you can't even say basic things until it's too late, that is, until you need help, until you realize shit is hard. I've been saying the same thing, different ways, but the same thing nonetheless. And each time it was a problem. And now all of a sudden, you're right. You're so young and wise for your age. Girl, stop. And it's so unfortunate because y'all don't understand the, the impact that you guys are having on the, the younger women coming up behind you. Let me, let me put it like this, y'all. And y'all give us 600 likes. Okay, y'all like the video. I appreciate you guys for pulling up with me. Let me tell y'all something. So many of us are out here, whether it be on YouTube, Thank you, Fur Furious the Messiah. 
whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, do they even do they still use Snapchat? If they do, they on Snapchat, TikTok. Y'all are over the damn place. So many of us women, different ages, right? Talking about how you know we ain't gotta do shit. We ain't gotta. We ain't gotta do nothing for no man. We we don't need men. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need that. We happier. We better. We all of this without them. To the point to where y'all are not even allowing these young women to experience a relationship, experience a man for them damn selves first before they already write it off and say, if it does not look like this or meet this standard, no matter how delusional it is, I don't want it. Y'all have young women, older women in between walking around on bullshit. And y'all been doing it for years. Like I said, I believe my first viral video was 2014 or 2015. And I'm saying common sense shit that any decent human being would be able to understand and internalize. And y'all had a problem with it. Y'all had young women my age at the time. I was, I think, like, I think I was like twenty four, telling me, "Oh, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. You a dumb hoe. This is struggle love. You will pick me. You stupid. You teaching us to settle." Y'all had all of those young women my age, in between, older, coming down my throat and saying, "Common." courtesy, common decency shit that any human being would implement into a relationship. And y'all still doing it. Y'all still doing it. Young girls never even been in a relationship. Never even been with a man. Damn, you know what I'm saying? All they, do, they just on social media. Never been in a long-term relationship, nothing. And y'all have poisoned them. Y'all been doing it for years. To the point to where they walk around like, you know what? I, you know, I don't need this. I'm, I'm the shit. I ain't shit, but I'm the shit. And time after time after time, you get new floods of new young women coming through, being indoctrinated, being programmed to believe the, the nonsense. Again, no matter how delusional it is. What's up, Ronnie? Y'all like the video? He said these titles snapping. Look, big smooth. Six hundred and thirty likes. So then, women such as myself have to come through and try to play clean up. But every time, it's a new flood of young women coming through, being indoctrinated, being programmed to think that I'm the fucking ops, I'm the enemy. Women like me are the enemy. If you if you ever dare to say what a woman should do for a man, if you dare to say, oh, I empathize, I sympathize, I understand men, oh, you are the enemy. You hate women. You ain't one of us. And I'm having to counter that. I'm having to go against that because I know what the fuck I'm saying is true. I'm living it out. At 24, I'm living that shit out. Everything I was saying at 24, I was living it out. But you had GMO females telling me I didn't know what I was talking about.
and we still fighting against it. Message has been the same. But then what's so unfortunate, oh, hear me out. What's so unfortunate is the fact that down the line, Oh, I'm just so irritated. Again, it's bittersweet, but it's more bitter than sweet, honestly. Down the line, you have those same females like, oh, Danica, you were right. We do need to stop being so unrealistic. We do need to do X, Y, and Z. We, I do understand now. So fucking bittersweet. But guess what? You, ma'am. Hear me out. You, ma'am, are now being drowned out with the noise, by the noise that you created. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is this, you guys. You have these floodgates opening of women just talking about how we're perfect and all the mistakes that we've been, been making are not our fault and we should continue to do it because after all, you had no factor into it and so we just continue to do the same bullshit over and over, not learning. We're being taught, oh, you, you're perfect. Men ain't shit. Don't try to understand anything. You don't have to. You run the world, you, you run the world, you deprive all of this other bullshit. I'm talking about floodgates upon floodgates upon floodgates of women saying the same thing over and over to each other on all different platforms. The same thing in even different ways from different walks of life. You have the um the, the strong independent real women. You have the prissy polite, proper. You got the hood, right? All different walks of life of women saying the same shit, the same delusional BS, teaching each other. So no matter where I go, all women operate and think the same. So whether I go to the prim, proper, prissy girl, she's going to also have the mentality and the ways and actions of a strong, independent, entitled, bitch-ass female. Yeah, I said it. Just bitchy. If I go down to the hood, I'm going to get the same female with the same behavior, the same mentality, no matter where I go, we can relate and bond off of that. And y'all know what I'm saying is not a lie. You got the prim, proper, prissy females collaborating with the, the, the real hood, ghetto real women, it don't matter. As long as you on call with, with the sisterhood, it don't matter. And so collectively, all women, don't matter where you from, how you talk, your walk of life, where you it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter uh, where you work. If you have a degree or not, we on call. We on one accord. We all understand that we should be in, entitled. We don't need to sacrifice or compromise for shit. Especially not no damn man or relationship. The man bows down to us. And y'all created that monster to now where you understand that it's wrong. They don't even hear you. They don't even see you. Now you are the minority. Welcome to the club, sis. 
And I know that has to be very heartbreaking for y'all because you have to live with the fact that you created that monster. You can't even be mad because you are the ones that told them, oh, we can do no wrong. We're perfect. We don't have to do X, Y, and Z to get a man, to keep a man, to be happy, to be in a relationship, to get married, to, to have our family. We don't have to do shit. You taught them that. Now they don't even want to listen to you. You, you sold out. And, and that be really pissing me off. I'm like, I'll just be listening like, well, sis. Good luck. Because your megaphone here is not going to be as loud. Because you've created a monster, a disaster to clean up. We can hit 700. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Glad that you see the light. Glad that you're back down to reality, living in the real world now. I'm, I'm glad about it. But, uh... Because you created this flood of delusional, entitled, conniving, cutthroat, manipulative, destructive woman, you 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 created this. It's gonna be a it's gonna be hell trying to get through to them, especially when you have women from all over the world, different walks of life, different races, different backgrounds, whatever. Coming through, saying that what you're saying is bullshit. You're male identified. You're a mammy now. You're a pygmy now. Good luck. 